So if you are going through some trials in your life, health crisis, financial crisis, whatever crisis you are going through, relationship crisis, know that. It doesn't matter who caused it, know that you are in the pruning process. It's uh, causing you some aches and pains, but in the end, God will use it for you to bear the fruits of the Spirit so that you can be good witnesses. Amen? Amen. Amen. Lastly, what is it? The, the best kind of branch that is fruitful branch. And that's what all, every one of us wants to be fruitful branch, right? And it's my desire to be fruitful branch, bring more people to Jesus Christ. But our God, our Lord Jesus, doesn't want us to do it with our own strength. He wants us to do it with His power, with His strength. <laughs> That's why in verse 4, he commands us, remain in me. Right? He didn't say, would you please, would you consider? He just said, remain in me. No branch is what? Bear fruit by itself. It must be attached. Verse 4. It must be remain in the body. It must be connected to the vine, right? To in order to bear fruit. So neither can you bear any fruit unless you in me. Unless you in me. Everybody knows it's true that have some connection is good. Right? I mean, if you have a connection in our White House, that makes difference in your life. If, if you have a connection, the company that you want to get a position, if your parents, if your mother is a good friend of the president of that company, that's connection that will help you, not necessarily getting your job, but it will really help you to get good interviews. Think about it. When we are connected, we are in Jesus Christ, we have a connection, the divine connection, that will enable us to bear more fruit. The spiritual life it's not done by our own power. It's done by the power of the living God. And so, when we are filled with power of Jesus Christ, His Spirit, we act like, uh, let me show you. We, we are like, I don't want you um, to misunderstand what I'm saying. What is this? Glow? Gloves. Gloves. Okay, gloves. What, what is this for? This is for your hand. Protect your hand. Do, do some work, yeah? But does it, can it do the work by itself? No. You yeah, try it. No can. <laughs> <laughs> but the hands get in. Now, we are talking, right? Ah. Huh? Now we are talking. So, the glove itself is us, spiritual field people. And hand that's in the gloves is the spirit of the living God. So, this gloves working, pruning, gardening, cooking, cleaning, whatever we do, by the 
how of his hand. If his hand don't get in there, no can work. That's how it should be, Christians. We, the blood, don't have their own agenda. They work according to the agenda of their hands. The power of God, Jesus Christ, agenda, God's agenda. That's what our Lord Jesus wants us, because you remain in me, I in you. Spiritual power. Then verse 7, hallelujah, let's uh, read it. Verse 7, he says, Jesus says, If you remain in me, you ask anything in my name, God will give you. Hallelujah. That is why Jesus wants us to remain in him. And we want to be remain in him continually filled with the Holy Spirit so that we can do the work of the kingdom without effortlessly. We can be a faithful witnesses. You see, without training, you can be good witnesses. Without memorizing any scriptures, you can be good witnesses. But without being empowered by the Holy Spirit, no can be good witnesses. That's why Jesus commands us, remain in me. Got it? Got it. In Hampton Court, near London, there is a great vine that is over 1,000 years old, and its root is about two feet thick, and its branch is going 200 feet long. Despite its age, it produces tons of delicious grapes each year. Even to the uh, smallest branch, to the end of 200 feet long, that branch is bringing sweet, delicious grapes because it is connected to the vine. The vine nurtures and nourishes the branches. That's our, what our Lord Jesus wants us to do. I am the vine. You are the branches. Remain in me. And I in you. Then you will do all things through Jesus Christ. If you, apart from me, you can do nothing. Amen. Amen. So, let us uh, ponder upon those impolite questions as we come into the communion table. Turn it around, asking ourselves, open our hearts, am I thrown away branch? Am I being pruned? If I am a thrown away branch, what can I do? If I am being pulled, what does the Lord wants me to do? Am I? How can I bear more fruit? <clears throat> so that we all can become the best kind of branch, fruitful branch, so that we can expect on the day of judgment. Expect hearing. Expect to hear. Our Lord Jesus says what? Well done, my good and faithful servants. You've been faithful in a few things. I will give you. I will put you more in charge of more things. And come on in and celebrate Master's happiness. Amen? Amen. 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 Let us pray.